Hi everyone, we're going to go over the expression to drop a deuce. Uh, to drop a deuce is to, it, it's to poop, it's to take a dump, uh, to, to go to the toilet, so uh, to drop a deuce. So we're going to go over a few, ex we're going to go over a few sentences and you know, to use to drop a deuce. So, um, you know, if we're discussing necessity, then we're gonna say I need to. So if it's just a, if it's an immediate necessity, we're gonna say I need to drop a deuce. I need to drop a deuce. Now, if you want to add some emphasis or yeah, a description to this, you can say I need to drop a doozy of a deuce, which means that's probably gonna be fairly. That's gonna be a very big experience. So. Uh, I need to drop a doozy of a deuce. Um, now, if it's like a duty or an obligation, then you can say, I should, I should drop a deuce. This could be, you know, you're going on a long trip somewhere and, uh, you know, you're not going to have a chance to use the bathroom for a while. So, you know, it's kind of a duty or obligation at this point to, to drop a deuce. Um, so I should drop a deuce. Um, now you can also express necessity to uh, just using got, I have got, or I've got, I've got to drop a deuce, I've got to drop a deuce. So you can use either one. This is also kind of going to express necessity just like if you use need to. Um, now you can also say I'm going to or I'm gonna um, I'm going to drop a deuce. I'm going to drop a major deuce. You want to add emphasis. So this means you are about to partake in the future activity of going to the bathroom and sitting on the toilet and letting, you know, and taking care of business. So, you know, you say I'm going to drop a deuce or I'm gonna drop a deuce that means it's about to happen you're about to stand up and go to the bathroom and do what you have to do now sometimes there are people that like to reflect on reflect on what they did in the bathroom some people like to talk about it um, so in that case you can use this in the past tense so it would be dropped a deuce so the drop Drop's gonna have a T sound, dropped. Um, so I dropped a deuce. I dropped a deuce. And if someone really, if you wanna add emphasis or description to that statement, you can say, I dropped a massive deuce. You know, that means it happened in the past. And if you're using massive to describe it, then it means it was, it was probably really big. It's probably very big. So uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's how you would use it in the past tense. So there are other variations in which you can use this and you can definitely practice using uh, drop a deuce in conversation if you wish to let people know that you have to go drop a deuce. So um, to drop a deuce, it is to go to the bathroom to, to poop. So um, that's going to conclude this lesson and thank you very much for following along.